I've got the valve cover off and just like we thought number six intake number six intake valve this is your rocker arm there's push rod goes to the lifter this is your valve spring valve and valve spring you should not have that much slack so I'm going to try the Try to release it by this method, which I've seen on YouTube. I'm gonna make a tool to go down in here and tap on the lifter and try to and try to release the lifter. I right, got my little tool made up. And you can Feel it go down into place right there. I removed the rocker and I left my push rod in there. Okay, we're gonna bump on this and see if anything happens. Now I've seen it come up a little bit. Uh oh. She just shot out of there, so I think we just released her. Yeah, it just came all the way out, so now you've got to tap on this to relock it. Relock your uh, lifter back into place, but I don't want to mess the end of that push rod up, so let me find something softer to bump on it with so you got to relock the lifter back in itself all right there it went now it's solid so we're going to put the rocker back on and see See what happens with this. Hopefully, this is working correctly. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's gonna work. I gotta get my torque wrench out later and retorque this. Okay, there it is. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So now we're gonna modify this Vlom plate. Be right back. Okay, I've uh, I was looking at this thing, trying to figure out how I was going to block this this oil passageway right here. And then there, there's a guy on YouTube that makes a sells the the little tool to unlock your to try to unlock your lifter, and he also has a, uh, made a roll, it's similar to a roll pin that you drive down in here and block off this passageway. But I, this just happened to my truck two days ago and I need my truck tonight because we race, we race uh, street stock at uh, Kenston in Op. And I really need my truck, so I don't have time to order his kit, which is reasonably priced. That's why I made the little tool. And I'm trying to figure this out right here. So what I did, I cut these off with my uh, cutoff tool. And I 
remove, remove these solenoids. And then I cut these with a chisel, this gasket. Um, it's because you won't need this. But you have to have, obviously, you have to have this gasket. Then I got, I thought I could do this once I got that off. I tapped this passageway right here and I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a set screw to, uh, you don't tap that hole all the way through because you want this to tighten up in there. And I'm gonna put a really good sealing on it. And once you do that, or I do that, I'm gonna stake it right here with a chisel so this screw cannot come back out of here because obviously if anything falls off of this, it will end up in your engine or on top of, you know, on top of your cam or where it does not need to be. Uh, once you remove that, these little things are in here. They look like oil uh, regulator, flow regulators or something. There's one in every one of these holes. And if you don't remove those, they will fall out when you put this cover back on. And that will end up in your engine also. So I got those out. And I'm going to, I'm gonna have this, uh, my dad has the program to remove the AFM from the computer. So I'm gonna leave this sitting outside the motor and plug it up so I can get it to his shop. And I'm going to plug this hole right here permanently. So anyway, that's my plan. See how it goes. Well, I got to put back together. I put the, the solenoid plate up here and plugged it up and tie strapped it up there until I get my fuel management uh, taken care of. But uh, she runs great. She's smooth. Quiet. Are we going to the races? <laughs>